Hello, hi there, gorgeous Taurians. Long time no hear. Sorry about September. If you were wondering where September's read was, firstly I was away and I knew I was going to be late with my September um, readings, but then I got ill. <laughs> Some of you may be able to still hear it in my voice. And so, I, you know, it was too late by the time it was September was, you know, due, because um, I only just got better. So I'm back now doing your October love horoscope. So my apologies um, for missing out in September. I do hope that you're all well though. So for those of you who are watching me for the first time, most people know how I do this. I take these cards. I'm a psychic and so I work with my spirit guides and I pick up the energies to kind of give you information on, let's say, the overall expectations of what to expect <laughs> with the energies concerning your love life. So Taurians, are you ready? Because you know I like to just jump straight in there. Now, some of you will know my guides do like to sing songs and actually it's the second time today they've sang this song to me, but I'll, I'm not going to sing it to you, but I'll, you know, it's, it's called Love is in the Air. You know the one that goes, love is in the air, um, every second, every sound, you know, love is in the air. Um, da -da 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 -da. And I don't know if I'm being foolish and I don't know if I'm being wise. But there's something that I just believe in and it's there when I open my eyes. Second time today they've got sang that song. And it's basically the general theme. <laughs> like it's like the background song. So go and listen to it. And if people know who it's by, write it down below. Google it or listen to it on YouTube. Because that is like the representation, Dorians, of the theme track to how your October love life is. Now I think that's incredibly positive because it's quite a positive song. You might want to study the words to it, but it has a very light very kind of happy kind of good feel about it so overall the feeling that I'm getting from my guides is that a lot of you Taurians are in L-O-V-E love <laughs> like really happy like this is going to be a maybe a short read because you guys are like they're saying here somebody from your past so some of you there's a past person this is somebody you know for some of you this is somebody you've been with a long time so this might be you've been married for a really long time and it's maybe been a bit stagnant well in October it's not <laughs> love is in the air <laughs> it feels it feels like I get celebrations anniversaries I get engagements I'm getting way too much positivity Torians. I think you're overdue I have to say but I'm getting set, like it is the day if you're single oh my god Torians, it is the the month to date from the beginning I'm just getting here success and victory with somebody again Taurians keep bringing up success and victory with you particularly with people that you have a previous connection with so do expect if perhaps if you haven't heard from somebody for somebody to step forward do expect that you've been if you've had a crush on somebody pining over somebody haven't heard from somebody would like to start something with somebody first week my goodness me the success and victory my guides are saying here don't be afraid to speak out nothing can go wrong you feel like you have the love version of a Midas touch <laughs> you can't get it wrong Taurians and if you're cross watching for whatever reason let's just say Taurians are in a really good headspace expressive open interested and vocal and communicative when it comes to the feeling of love you guys want to be in love are in love and feeling happy about it like seriously um again because i like i get renewals of vows so again people in long-term connections you may have your partner suggesting that to you or there's a recommitment but i'm even getting those who are even considering separating divorcing that there's a there's a there's a coming back there's a coming together there's a reconsideration there's newfound love i don't think in the what nearly two years that I've been doing these this is officially the most loved up reading I mean I have to say you guys are my first one that I've done <laughs> done um because as soon as I went it to do this they, I said to my guys which one should I start with and they were like Torian 100% now I know why because because I'm not seeing anything negative you guys are on fire when it comes to love I don't want to hear from a single Torian <laughs> next month because the only reason you should be contacting me is because it's too good to be blooming true. As far as I'm concerned, and you're just checking that it's too good to be true because I'm not getting anything negative. It's the most absolutely positive love, reading, energy, everything that I've ever read for any sign in two years. 
like first week victory somebody from your past second week i'm getting here for the, like it, it kind of like i get it like so again if you're if you're newly dating you're kind of like bonding i get somebody expressing themselves so you know like those times when we've met people when we've just started dating them and then very quickly you can find yourself falling for them or they express themselves or you express yourself to them very very quickly happens very very quickly the energy in your chart in that month palpable at all for those in long-term connections second week this is when you should expect if you're expecting engagement that's the week you're going to be asked if you are looking for some sort of form of commitment so asked to be moved in asked to officially you know go <laughs> go steady whatever this is second week there that's the that's the week of bonding and commitment um a lot of twin flames i have to say so if you're taurian that has a twin flame connection october super mighty important and mighty powerful something with you and your twin divinely happens which again makes things feel incredibly powerful incredibly worth it so that's particularly to those who are in a twin flame connection also too um third week i'm getting here um, it's interesting because they're saying here you and your partner defend off everybody else so that can be as simple as other people that may want to try to burst your happy bubble you will be together in this you will be you know, shutting people out of that um anybody who's trying to ruin that or anybody who just doesn't like that you're too happy you're just gonna be like that's okay it doesn't bother us you can do that we, we will defend this you know so if you are in connections where actually maybe parents don't agree because they've got an age difference or there's something culturally different between you i get here you both standing together in this strong particularly again because my guys want to refer to some people that will want to bring a further commitment further engagement now you might be doing that knowing that your love is really strong but other people family don't agree with it for whatever reason you will defend that decision because that's how much you feel passionately about this this is why you love that person and then i just get on to the end of the month where it's about you and that person pl making plans holidays you know buying stuff doing stuff like long term maybe even mundane plans but they have a significant representation because it means that person you intend and they intend to be in your life worth going forward I get wishes being fulfilled and you feeling like you want to do you know that jump when you kind of jump to the side and you click your feet together you're so blimmin' happy that song I gave you at the beginning where I said love is in the air <laughs> that is your theme tune all you need to do all you need to know to audience this month is to play that if you feel down or lonely or you want to understand how your love life the energy invites this play that song because it will tell you everything about how your month will be be brave be bold because you have the mightest touch when it comes to love this month i will be incredibly surprised given this is quite a significantly positive read that any of you have problems okay i think even those of you who significantly decide that you want to be single is because you love yourself mighty amount love 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 is in the air you're just oozing it what more can i say you're going to be the most attractive to people you know <laughs> it's a good time to and so i think that i haven't said that to you guys in a while so I really hope that's been helpful. Do let me know about all the positive things that happen to you if you get engaged. Do let me know about it. You know, what 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 significant in love is happening for you this month? I've been Bella. I'll be back next month, I promise, <laughs> with your November reads. And I really hope that that's been helpful. Take care.